You know them as the award-winning pop rock band who have given us hits like Fallout and Desperate Measures. And straight from the West Coast, these Juno award-winning multi-platinum selling pop stars are back with their newest album, Phantoms. Please welcome Josh Ramsey, Matt Webb, and Mike Ailey from Mariana's Trench. <laughs> Congratulations on your newest album, Phantoms. This is your fifth full studio length uh, record, and we, uh, we, we think it's amazing. And, Thank you. And it's a really interesting stand. We just got a taste of it with your single, I Knew You When. Um, but give it a taste of what people can expect from the rest of the album. It's, uh, it's really sort of modern songwriting style, but uh, really old school sounds. It's all, um, there's, there's not a lot of programming. It's all very organic uh, in its approach. Uh, it's, uh, it's, we sort of reinvent every album. Mm. Speaking of reinventing every album, Astoria, your last album, had a really kind of 80s vibe to it. And as I understand it, Josh, you kind of um, turned your place uh, into a kind of 80s type situation. Is that right? And then the glam rock, the 80s glam rock, you're rocking that too. Is that something that you do for every album? Is there a theme? I kind of think um, this is going to sound weird. I Just know, say but it. Yeah. I, <laughs> but you asked. Um, I... Uh, I think I approach songwriting like a method actor would approach a character. So for me, it's sort of like a, a bit of a new persona on each album. So like on Astoria, yeah, it was we were thinking about 80s stuff. So I was like wearing leather pants to the studio and like recording vocals with scarves on and all this ridiculous stuff. Um, and then this album, we were thinking about sort of haunted houses. And I was reading a lot of Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, Stephen King, I understand. And some a Stephen bit, King. Yeah. Uh, I literally had a moment. <laughs> I had a moment where I was like trying to get into the mindset of like losing your mind and stuff. And I was just sort of walking around the house, and my girlfriend looked at me really oddly, and I was like, "I'm thinking about madness." <laughs> <laughs> and she looked back at me and was like, "I can tell." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's great. So you're kicking off the Canadian leg of your uh, Suspending Gravity tour, and you're actually going to be joined on the road with um, Elijah Wood and um, Jamie fun. Fine. And so they, they're, we've, they've been on our show before, they're lots of fun, but like, if they were curious, we might leak the word of like, what's it like to be on tour with you guys? What's a tour oh, situation like? Who's wake messy? Up. Who's not? Yeah, wake up and assess the damage. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> and you know what? Actually, on tour, um, I personally I like to get up early. And every city has a... We, we travel to all these beautiful cities, and everywhere has a, a site you need to see or a restaurant you need to go to or a, or a you know, landmark that you must visit. So I get up early, and I Uber over to whatever that is, and I take a picture, and then I send it back to my mom. Aww, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm not, I'm not joking because, uh, you know, you're far away from your family and stuff, and it's nice to be able to connect somehow. But, um, that's you get, adorable. That's yeah, really yeah. cute. You know what? And, and you got to... But the thing is, we go to these beautiful places, and, and our job is tough because you're in and out so quickly that you don't get an opportunity to really experience the local culture and the sights and the sounds. And, and so get up early and try, and try and get that done every day. Mike, are you doing the same thing? Well, I remember when we were in Philly, we, uh, we ran up the stairs and did the Rocky thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> I sleep in. Yeah, Josh, Josh sleeps yeah, in. He's not, not I, want to, I want to stick with the touring for a second because you're going to be doing venues on this tour that really create an up close and personal live experience for your fans. I guess smaller venues, is that what you're doing this time, guys? Why, why is that important? I wanted to do, um, I know in Canada we've done a lot of arena shows and stuff, but we were really thinking about the subject material of, of haunted houses and being haunted by the ghost of former love and, and, uh, that to me felt very intimate and up close and personal. And I think the, there's one thing, doing the big live show, the big huge arena shows is fun because you get to be larger than life and you get to do everything you pretended you were doing when you were jumping on your bed and air guitaring with a tennis racket when you were a kid. <laughs> but what you lose is this intimacy right here. And it's really hard to convey that vulnerability when you're on a big huge stage. And this material just felt like it wanted to be up close and personal. Mm. Um, you guys are all uh, technically parents. Mike, you have a son. That's correct. Um, you are parents to fur babies, adorable ones. Do they come on the tour with you? <laughs> oh, so and cute. They're so cute. Do they come on tour at all? Does that have any of them? And how do you sort of balance the family life versus the touring life? We, uh, we, haven't bring, we don't bring the animals with us. It's a little hard. I mean, the bus is so small, and you're traveling all the time, and then you're in weird weather, and, yeah. and then you have to fly them home at the end, which is kind of cruel because it's just so loud. It's not really ideal for that. Um, I think this may be the first time I'll be able to fly my son out because he's old enough we can come for a weekend, How old you know? Is he, now? he just turned nine in oh, December, so oh, yeah. uh, that's cool. And then the hometown shows are cool because everybody can be there. 
And you know, this is actually for me, uh, nobody knows this, but I actually had a baby four months ago. What? So, yeah, so, um, yeah, thanks. So, Breaking news. Yeah, so th this is my, my first trip uh, away from home since the baby, so I'm like, oh. I've just been uh, You're going to get tough, used to, like, FaceTime and Skype. Yeah, and, like, a lot wow. of that. Yeah, a lot of that. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. That's Thank so you. nice. Yeah. That's lovely. Okay, so you guys are here, and we thought we'd play a little game. Are you into a yes. game? Yeah, let's do Justin it. Justin us with that. So it's a little game with some of your songs. We like to call it Pop or poems, you mentioned Edgar Allan Poe, right? You were thinking about Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe. Poe, yeah. So the audience all has paddles, <laughs> and then Sin and I have paddles too. And guys, what we're going to do is you're going to read uh, something in that box, and we're going to have to decipher whether it's a lyric or it's a Mariana's Trench song. Lyric. No, no, so it's, poem it's, a, it's a famous or, poem. Or a lyric. Or a right. lyric from, from, your, your song, from your song, okay? Yeah. So okay. is it Mariana's Trench or is it a poem? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to use our paddles. Pop Thank God and we don't have to be a player. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. We would not do well at this point. I'm still learning the words to, like, songs that are five years old. <laughs> we're going to do this up. Josh, are you going to go first? Okay. Okay. Assuming I can read. Um... All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. I'm looking at you to see if you're, you're like, oh, do I, I recognize my own lyrics? Do I not? All mm. that we see or seem oh. is but a dream within a dream. Ah, I'm going with this. I'm, I'm going to go pop. Po Mostly poem. Uh, oh. You'll be right? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely poem. That's Edgar Allan. <laughs> ah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. You sang it. You sang it. Deceptive. Do you want to try one? Sure, yeah. Go for it. Okay, what does this say? Oh, you got the long one. Yes, I got the long one. Good. Great. Okay, okay good. Uh, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women oh. merely poem, players. Poem, poem. Yeah, their exes yeah. and their entrances, and yeah. one man, yeah. Poem, right? <laughs> Everybody knows this one. You don't even need to finish. All right, all right. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so here's another day I'll spend away from you. Another night I'm on another broken avenue. Oh, that sounds... There we go. Ah. <laughs> we got you. Can't fool anybody. Go for it. Go for it. Pull it another one. Okay. We're winning this. Uh. <clears throat> <laughs> We've got to make noises in greater amounts, so open your mouth, lad, for every voice counts. Sounds just like me. <laughs> Is it? I, I'm, I think you're I'm being tricky. Way. You're being tricky, aren't you? Are you? What is it? It's Dr. Seuss. Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll leave it on that, yeah. guys. Thank you so much thank for you. coming. Thank you. Dates to the Marianas Trench Suspending Gravity Tour. And don't forget to pick up Phantoms. It's on sale March 1st. And we'll be right back. Woo!